Today we celebrate the Feast of the Annunciation, a very familiar story in Scripture to us. Mary is told by Gabriel that she has been chosen to give birth to the Messiah, to change the world. And yet on that day, Mary's world was changed. Mary's world was turned upside down. I can only imagine how she would have felt what are you saying? Uh, how is this going to happen? You want, you want me to be a part of this? And yet, why do we celebrate this feast? What does this feast say to us? Because all of Scripture is about intersecting with our own lives. What does this story say to me? And so as we celebrate this feast, we think about all of our own annunciations, all of those moments when we were told something, when we discovered something, when we were challenged by something. Maybe it's a medical diagnosis, maybe it's an engagement, but something that is going to shift our lives. And where is God in this? And what is God calling me to in this? And so we can get some insight from Mary. I'm sure she was perplexed. I'm sure she was overwhelmed and stunned. A little, this is impossible. Th this can't happen. And yet she was able to say, yes, I trust in you, Lord, that somehow this is going to come out in a good way. And so we think about our own annunciations and those moments when we thought, oh, this can't be happening. Or I'm so excited by this. And we think about how we came through, how God helped us, called us, walked alongside of us. And we prepare for those that are yet to come, those, those times when we are perplexed and overwhelmed, those times when we are excited, when we are on fire and when we're nervous. And we think about and draw strength from the times we've already been through. And that's how we step into. So this Feast of the Annunciation, this oh so very familiar story, continues to speak to us, continues to challenge us, continues to call us to pause, to dig deep to allow these things to ponder in our hearts and then to say, yes, Lord, whatever it is you're calling me to, I'm going to step into it. It's not that I'm not afraid. It's not that I'm really confident, but I'm going to trust. And as we continue through this Lenten journey toward the passion, death, and resurrection, we know that our hearts are filled, our hearts are wrestling, our hearts are struggling. We have a new awareness. We have a new insight. We're beginning to feel whatever it is that God's calling us to this particular Lent. Where are we headed? And we find our courage and our strength in Mary and the Feast of the Annunciation. We walk together. And we trust as Mary trusted and we're willing to step into and say, yes, Lord, here I am.